Welcome to the Panasonic Studio at the Toronto International Film Festival. Machine Gun Preacher, starring Gerard Butler, is the true story of a man's transformation from a criminal into a uh, preacher of sorts to children in Africa. Now, Grammy Award winner Chris Cornell of Audio Slave and of Soundgarden is here. He wrote one of the original songs for the film. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So you've collaborated on a lot of uh, different soundtracks. How did this one come about? Um, well, it, it started the way they usually do. A friend of mine named Michael Cooper was uh, good friends with the director, Mark Forster, and, was, and, and he also loved the script and the, and the story. And he kind of badgered Mark to consider having me write an original song for the movie. And I don't think there was an, an idea to even have one. Um, and Mark thought that would be a great idea, and I got a copy of the script and read it, and I was really kind of moved by the whole thing. I first heard the name of the film uh, and thought, it, this sounds like an action film, you know, like, you know, he's a priest and he shoots people, and, you know, like Death Wish 5, only he's a priest kind of thing. But it wasn't that. Now, and when I got into the script and, and then went online and started researching the story a little more, I, I was really... Uh, moved by the story, and it's very unusual. Uh, and that was it. I, you know, I was I was very motivated to do what I could to contribute to the film, and you know, hopefully to Sam's charity as well. And some of the proceeds are going to Sam's charity, right? Yeah, they are. I um, I, I will funnel back any money that I make off of the the sale of the song to his proceeds. So the song is called The Keeper. Mm -hmm. How did it come to you after reading the script, or how does that work out for you? Well, I would read the script. I had actually started a couple other song ideas, and then uh, I had remembered that, that Mark, had, the, the director, had told me to, uh, if I wanted, I could go online and, and look at, at Sam Childers' websites, which is, his organization is called Angels of East Africa. So I just went on there. and and. There's some YouTube links where, where Sam's just sort of matter-of-factly talking about condi conditions for the kids and, and their mothers and, and, uh, and, and he's showing you. And, and, uh, and then there's also uh, a gallery where you can just look at pictures. And, and I, I was just sort of looking at the photos. And, and most of them are stills with his children in, in his orphanage that are, and they're happy and it's good. And and it's but but you're seeing the real people that this movie's about, not not actors or a movie, and that's what got the keeper going. And then I, I just decided, writing it from the perspective of a person that's put themselves out there and put their life on the line and their life sort of back at home, on the back burner, so that they can uh, champion the lives of these little kids, and and that's where the keeper came from. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. And remember to follow us on Twitter at Red Carpet Diary and Facebook to keep updated on all the interviews here in the Panasonic Studio at the Toronto International Film Festival. Uh -oh.